What's up guys, Mike the Maniac here, and I'm doing another short little video on the world generation system in my game. As you can see, this looks exactly like uh, what I just posted a few days ago. However, I have improved it. Before I was using objects in the world, just because I was following a simple tutorial, but I have taken two tutorials and kind of meshed what I learned together to create this world generation system. And I want to show it off and kind of explain it some more. So what you're seeing right now is the exact same system, except instead of using objects, we're using tiles. And tiles in Game Maker are a little more optimized um, in terms of having a background or a world to be generated. Now, one thing that I didn't really show off with the last system, and it's because it, you know, wouldn't really be too feasible, would kind of be really unoptimized, but. You can now edit the tiles in the game. Let's just try and write out my name. There we go. Write out my name. It would be possible to do this with the last system, but like I said, it would be very unoptimized. We'd have to clear out objects and replace new objects. But having tiles means this is very simple. And while I don't really have any plans for editing the world tiles in any sort of way i think it will help a lot for like you know say you want to i don't know maybe decorate with something in the world you can just place it down easily and this is kind of the whole system that i have kind of cooked up and improved since the last video now the last video um it was recorded about a month before i posted it um, I've just been struggling a lot with motivation, to be honest, and a lot of other mental stuff. It's kind of hard, uh, but this was really easy for me to get working with tiles. Um, the rest of it, eh, not really. I do plan to have this randomly generated right now. It's just taking a set image and converting it into a world. But I do plan to find a way to create a random image to be able to be parsed by this world generation system and i'm not really going to explain a lot but i'm just going to kind of tell you how the image is converted into a tile and i think the rest of the world generation magic i'm just going to explain in a devlog video alrighty so as you can see right here we have an image and we have our world the green represents the grass the yellow represents the sand, and the blue represents the water. Now if you go in here, you'll see that each, each color has a red, green, and blue uh, slider. This contains color data for the image. And here we have a hex code. As you can see, these two Fs right here represent the red, these two the green, and these two zeros represent the blue. And then these can change based on all this stuff. It's using a hexadecimal system, which is a, uh, it's, I'd have to explain like math theory and stuff, but it's just a different way of storing numbers. And um, yeah. So what we do is we take this hex value and we say, this is yellow. This code right here searches for yellow, but it's in a different color format. For some reason, when you're working with code, GameMaker likes to use the BGR format, especially when referencing sprites and stuff. Other than that, everything else is red, green, blue, the standard uh, color gamut spectrum or whatever. For some reason, when you're working with some specific stuff with GameMaker, it uses BGR, which is just the opposite of RGB. So what we do is we, the two zeros, which define the blue color, we just simply put them right here. And the two Fs that define the red color, we just simply put them right here. And as you notice, the two green values stay the same. This is basically how we reference sand. Um, then right here, just pure green is grass, and then just pure blue is water. And the water tiles, based on animations, they take up tiles eight through 15. Again, I'm gonna explain more in my devlog and I'm gonna explain what some of this does and how the image is actually parsed into the world data. But essentially, this is all uh, you kinda need to understand. There's two tutorials down below if you wanna do something similar in Game Maker. 
Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Tell me what you think. Um, I think I'm off to a pretty good start with this game. And um, I look forward to developing it. It's just sometimes I have some motivational and mental struggles with it. So thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. It'll help me out tremendously. Um, and thank you guys. Bye-bye.